Hello mga kabiyaya. Nako, this podcast was months in the making, finding a way to get through to her since we found out na napamahal niya yung mga pusa, although very much an animal uh, lover, napamahal po siya sa mga pusa when she was in her lowest stage in life when she was uh, placed in jail. Malaking bagay po to kasi talagang naramdaman niya na this time, yung pag-aalaga niya sa pusa ay may katumbas. In other words, it was returned to her. Siya po ang in, in, na, i, naalaga ng mga pusa. I think it's important to point out that even at that stage, she opened herself up and she realized many beautiful things about cats. She's originally a dog lover, but now it became both dogs and cats. Please find in this podcast our offering uh, Senator Laila de Lima opening up in a very personal way about her experience in life and now her experience in life with both cats and dogs. Sana po na ma- ma-appreciate nyo po ito kasi sa totoo lang, she really opened up her heart, her mind, and her pagkatao dito. A human rights advocate and now very, very much an animal rights advocate. Salamat po. Magandang umaga po mga kabiyaya. Nandito po kami ngayon sa marketing room. Hindi pa, hindi pa nyo nakikita to. So, welcome. It is a great honor po. And talagang, uh, how can I say, muntik na akong umiyak kanina when the good senator, Senator Laila De Lima, came to grace us and be part of our advocacy. Malaking bagay po to. Kasi, uh, it takes, sorry ha, it takes a woman to grow testicles and to be able to do what she does. Nandito po kami, with no further ado, nandito po ang mahal naming senadora, Senator Laila De Lima. Magandang umaga, Ms. Rina. And magandang <laughs> umaga sa lahat ng mga kasama mo dito sa Biyaya Opo. Animal Care. And uh, really, I'm so excited to be here. I'm so delighted to be here. I've heard about uh, what you're doing. Very uh, admirable advocacy, animal welfare. At kanina nga, nung tinutur mo ako, I was so touched. Uh, it, it breaks my heart, actually, to see a wounded, sick animals, dogs and cats. And uh, alam nyo naman, na, na, ano rin ako, I'm a dog lover as well as a cat lover. And um, yung advocacy rin yan, that's something that I really want to further imbibe and embed in my in my advocacy also because as you know my core advocacy would be human rights would be social yes. justice democracy and the rule of law pero meron isang side si Laila de Lima na siguro hindi marami ang nakakaalam yun nga po yung pagiging dog and cat lover ko you uh, know um uh there's a saying diba? People who don't like animals, diba? yes. and people who love animals, yes, buo yung puso. Yes, they have a capability and they have the courage to be vulnerable to love. Yes, more empathy, more compassion. Yes, you're you're a kind and good person if uh, you are an animal lover. Lover, yes, that's yes. so. I that's always so believe in that because I I know people, of course, I know a lot of people, mga kamag-anak ko, mga kaibigan ko. And uh, I would know exactly then kung sino yung mga animal lover, or at least man lang those who appreciate animals. They, they need not, wala siguro silang pets, either a dog or a cat, pero they appreciate animals. I can see already from, from how, they how, they go, are. how they are, their character, their personality. And, and more often than not, accurate yung, yung uh, assessment. It's a very good barometer. Be an animal lover. Yes. yes, you must be 
an animal lover, you must have a pet. Kasi ano ka eh, more more compassionate uh -oh. and more understanding yeah. and, and more rational, actually. It, it has to be because you're considering another life. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right? So, the Laila din lima of uh, younger years. May pets po kayo or? When I was young, I did not have pets. pets. I had a pet nung I, I entered public service. Ah! Okay. So that's in 2008, as chairperson of the Commission on Human Rights. Somebody just gave me a dog. He's the first dog ever. He's now gone. His name is Kirby. Now, uh, my friend was telling me na gusto na daw ipapatay, i-abandon at ipapatay, get rid, because uh, masyado daw makulit, Mag hindi daw maganda yung ugali. And there's, and, you know, bothered na bothered daw. So they better just uh, eliminate him. So I said, bakit yung, bakit, bakit papatayin? Why don't you just just give him to somebody else? And ano, baka gusto mo. So, napilitan po kayo. And <laughs> since then, since then, I've got to love, I, I, I got to uh, love and appreciate animals. So he was my very first pet dog, followed by several other pet dogs, because I used to just love dogs. I wasn't a cat lover. I never appreciated cats before. Uh, in fact, I hated cats before, before I was incarcerated. Kasi do, doon lang talaga ako sa mga aso ko, and I could see that my, my dogs hate cats. <laughs> <laughs> and they would run after them. Talagang gigil na gigil sila. Alos patayin nila pag, pag, pag meron silang nahuhuling cats. You know, so I also didn't love cats. But then, nung nakulunga ho ako, in, uh, that's in 2017, from day one pa lang, may mga lumapit na ng mga stray cats doon sa quarters ko because I had my own compound there at the PNP Custodial Center in Camp Krame. I'm all alone there. I was isolated from the rest of the detainees. So I had uh, a small detention, detention room but my compound is rather big. So, may mga pumupunta, mga nagbibisita na mga, mga stray cats. And, and uh, little by little, they, they, they're able to, you know, they approach me. Nung una, ilang pa sila. But then, of course, when there's food, they would certainly come. So, I started adopting those cats, the stray cats of Kam Krame. And some of them, became so attached to me, they were so close to me, yung yun yung naging mainstay sa compound ko. Yung iba kasi, ano, punta-punta lang sila, they just come during meal time. That's in the morning and in early evening. So, pero yung iba, naging mainstay, they would sleep with me in the detention in my room, and two or three of them would even nag-aagawan sila na, <laughs> na tabihan ako sa pagtulog ko when I had a very small, a single bed. So, hindi kami magkasya doon kung sila yung tatlo yung uh, mag, uh, makikitulog uh, sa akin. So, that's, that's the history of my love for cats. I learned to appreciate cats. I learned to really love them. I, iba rin sila eh. They have, you know, they have their distinct personality. They, they, Each their, their vibe. every cat yes. has his or her own character. Yes po. Although parang mga tao rin, iba yes. may, may matitino, oh. may mga mababait, may mga pasaway, may mga masusungit, yeah. may mga malambing. So all sorts, all sorts of character. But I see in them really a different kind of intelligence. Of course, dogs are also are intelligent. They are very intelligent also. Cats, has a different level of intelligence. Parang mas nakakaano nga sila, mas nakakaintindi. They, they know exactly what, what you're feeling. What you're feeling. What you're going through. Yes. Yes. I think uh, certified may magnet po kayo <laughs> na nag -a attract nag -a attract of people who, people, animals, living beings that perhaps feel you. Mm -hmm. I think it's not, it's not a coincidence because... Uh, your animal rights advocacies, mm -hmm. rule of law, and uh, that is an energy within you. And that uh, acts as a magnet. Mm -hmm. 
Maybe, yes. I think, I think you can say that. Mm -hmm. And it's like they convinced you. <laughs> oh, kami naman, kami naman. You know, uh, really, I'll tell you, cats, like dogs, they know when people like them or not. Yeah, yeah, I agree. But the cats will convince you mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. to like them. Mm -hmm. Yes. Somehow, you know. Uh, it, it's very funny because uh, the very masusungit cats, when you start feeding them, aba, nagdadalawang isip na. You, you get it? And then they eventually come to you, but on their terms. Eh. On their terms, yes. Um, dogs can easily be attached to you. Yes. Um, you know, yes, they yes. are best friends, man's mm -mm. best friend. Cats, it would take a little time because they would first feel you, sense you, yes, sense feel you. you, observe you. And then if they see that you can be really nice to them and you can be their master, then. They it's just, okay. They just they yes. melt into your hands. Correct. So, uh, those days that they kept you company, was, a, was it important to you? Very important. Supremely important. Because as I said, I was all alone in my compound. Bihira ako nakakakita ng tao, especially during the uh, pandemic. There were several months at the height of the pandemic was total lockdown in the facility. Not even family, not even friends, not even lawyers can visit you. Now, doctors, yes, if needed, but nobody else. So, ang nakikita ko lang na mga tao doon, yung ilang minuto lang nagahatid ng pagkain, ng supplies, ng mga guards. Serious? Yes. So, Just a few minutes. They cannot stay in my quarters more than, let's say, 10 or 15 minutes when they deliver my food, and they deliver my food only in the morning. Uh, kasama na dun yung lunch and dinner because actually I did not accept food from the custodial authorities for safety reason. Yes. Um, yeah. My friends and my family advised. So nanggagaling yung food sa bahay. Pero morning lang, inapadala. So it's about 8 o'clock in the morning. Lahat na, breakfast, lunch. And dinner, so I just I just had to heat na lang or reheat the one for lunch and dinner. So in going back to how often do I have interaction with with people there? Because well, they just deliver it in the morning, the guards, the my my food and my and my supplies. Although sometimes no laluna when I was still with the Senate, when I was still a senator, I was still working on bills and resolutions, on draft bills and resolutions, then from time to time, nagahatid din sila. So they allowed, you to, they allowed you to do that work? Yes. Yes, I had a small table there. But I was deprived of, you know, I had no Any cell support? phone. Oh. I had no cell phone. I had no computer. I had no access to internet. I had no laptop. I had no com um, tablet, nothing. Just all, all handwritten. Everything I wrote, even my instructions, to my staff, hand wrote my letters, all hand wrote. I, I did not have TV, I did not have radio, I did not have air con. Can you imagine at this time, it was very, you know, summer, <laughs> don't cry. Um, I, I had no shower. Huh? Uh, yeah. No shower. Tabo. Tabo. For, for almost seven years. So it's all back to basics. But I easily adjusted, actually, because I, 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 I was raised not to be ma'arte. Thank you know, God. Know, yeah, thank God. So, so I, I, I easily adjusted. So that kind of life, solitary life. Uh, my cats saved you. Yes, it, it kept, they kept my sanity intact. Because I talk with them, I'm with them. So, Umalis na yung guards, sila yung kinakausap ko. And then, uh, although I was, I was bitten about twice or thrice, <laughs> accidental. Oh, walang hiya. Okay. Accidental lang kasi na nag-aagawan kasi sila, natapakan ko yung isa. So, may, inano ako, kinamrot. Or, so, twice so or may thrice. bakuna po. Yes, several, several <laughs> times ako nag-, nag, nag uh, 
I, I, several times na uh, anti-rabies shot sa akin, just to be sure. Yes, so, yes, yes, yes. Just yes. to be sure, right? Or kahit medyo ano lang, uh -huh. medyo um, hindi naman malalim, but uh, the doctors just had to be sure. Yeah, so, oo nga. Three times ako nabakunahan doon sa loob because twice or thrice, I, I got clawed by, by, by cats. So, and, so a lot and, of and, soul searching? A lot, that a lot of soul searching. That these are creatures of God. They're as important as us. And, and you cannot simply take them for granted. You cannot not take care of them. So, um, and that's why, nung pinalaya na nga ako last November 13, 13 2023, uh, it, it was hard for me. While of course I'm very, I was very ecstatic because freedom, I, I, I regained freedom, but there's also part of me that felt very sad while leaving the facility because I had to leave some of them. I, how I wish I could bring home all of them, more than 20 silai. But I could not, there's no space at home and I'm not alone in my place. I'm with my siblings and, and uh, it might be, um, they might be, uh, you know, um, um, be burdened by, by, by the presence of, of many, many cats. So I just had to choose my favorites, five of them. What are their names? Their names are Avatar, uh, Lily, Doll, Duchess, and Otto. But Duchess, female, left first night. Oh. First night pa lang, nung dinala ko sila sa bahay. She left, and she never came back. Came back. Maybe she got lost. I think she got lost because it's, it's just a new, it's environment. A new environment. Uh -oh, uh -oh. I was looking for her for several days. I was, I was asking the neighbors, I was asking the guard, the guards of the, at the, the subdivision. So I don't, I hope she's still alive. I hope somebody is taking care of her. Yeah. Duchess. Duchess. Yeah. yeah. She's uh, gray, gray colored. Gray colored. So uh, they kept you company, they slept with you. Yes. And, um, it's important companionship, especially during that yes. time that you had, the way you describe it, nothing. Yeah. Yeah. There, there's, I, maybe my life was, you know, it, it, the solitude, the sadness would have been more, would have been worse without unbearable yes would be unbearable without my cats that's, uh, that's, uh, that's you know it's it's an important story because at the end of the day sometimes men are uh, humans humans they have this hubris mm -hmm. they think uh, they can stand on their own mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and then something happens and then you realize all the things that you probably didn't know before. And in a way, it's a biaya, it's a blessing. Because I'm sure it, it made you understand something about yourself yes. that you probably didn't know before. So it's a revelation. I laud you for that. We use you know, uh, the, the name, the label, biaya. So it's actually blessing to us, yes. human beings, humans blessing to us um, having them with us maybe at first you don't realize it but in time you'll be able to really appreciate exactly their value in your life yeah I think it's always when you're at the lowest yeah. point of your life that you are aware become aware or realize what is important and uh, your advocacy, your personal passion is mm. rights. Yes. And yes. so now even the animal rights, animal rights. 
have come into your sphere? Yeah, I've introduced a bill, uh, amendments to the animal welfare law, strengthen them. Yes. It, it, the, the, uh, the, the uh, prevailing animal welfare law, I think, is, is insufficient. It's deficient. Yes. A lot to really input with the changing of the times and the you know, changing of uh, yes. philosophy in life. Has it been filed? No, I don't think so. Because when I when I left, when I because my my term was just up to 2022, and I ran for re-election, but I lost because I was in jail. Yes. And when I I ran for re-election, so in but in by uh, as of 2022. I, I don't think that it has been really calendared yes. for deliberation, especially at the plenary. Yes. Maybe at the committee level, it was discussed already when I left, but I have not heard of any That's significant yes. development. Are you aware that Senator Grace Poe also filed the bill? Yes. Yeah, yeah she, I've heard of that. Yeah, heard and, and I was part of some of it. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But, uh, and then I only understood the process that uh, in fact, hi, Senator Cynthia. <laughs> Nililigawan ko po kayo. <laughs> so so we, we, we even, the team even went to her farm. Um, mm -hmm. Because the way the process pala is that it has to be brought up on a, a, a hearing. After yes. the hearing, technical working committee. Yes. Study and then, further study and then the recommendations. Yeah, so um, I'll be asking for your bill because I, it, I, I was also telling... Uh, Senator Grace po, uh, some of the items na okay. you have to be on the ground. Eh. Okay, I can share it with you. Yeah, share it with me because that's what I said. You know, lawyers are brilliant. But unless you are on the ground, you understand the devil is in the nuances. Exactly. And sabi ko, ito, 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 ito. Um, and, and so let's hope um, things get, uh, there's a hearing and then a technical working committee. And then for plenary. I'd also, love, I, I'd also like to uh, monitor the hearings. So, well, I have former staff who uh, joined uh, some other senators, senators so yes. I, could, I could ask for yes. updates Please. from them about the bill. Yes, And yes. when it's already being discussed on the floor, on the, even at the committee level, I, I, would, I would want to monitor that. Yes, also. please. You know, um, the other thing that we talked about since you're uh, a senator and a lawyer, our, our laws, ang gaganda sa papel, yes. pero walang enforcement. There's always a big gap between the letter and the, and the spirit of the law and its implementation. Opo. That's true to almost all the all, laws we all have laws. in our country. Yes. So it's in the enforcement. How Be can we fix that? Because of the Paul? lack of uh, will, the willpower to do things right. And... and uh, well, first, of course, the urgency and the urgency it, 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 it's what is really deficient. Urgency and the awareness of the importance of every undertaking. You know, so more education so far as the public sector is concerned about our public servants, how to enlighten them about their mandate, how Ayon. important their mandate is. Yes. You know, it's the, the, the Congress, the lawmakers, you know, every piece of legislation that uh, they can work on or they need to work on. They should understand the very rational behind these bills, this uh, legislative, uh, this proposed legislation, so that they could champion these this, uh, bills once they are enacted into laws. Because if somebody or some group or, some, or several personalities, big personalities, understand exactly the law, they would not be. They would become the champions and the advocates yes. for the uh, efficient and correct implementation of the law. You know, so. uh, earlier when we were talking before this, I, I, uh, from what I see, there's mm -hmm. very little respect for life. Yes. Whether it's an animal, a tree the life of a culture and the life of human beings and especially look what the, happened during the drug war yan yan po and and for me it was like uh, it it's going it's going that direction you know um 
I'll give you an example. We do a lot of rescues. Mm. There's a particular area in an NCR city where I had to call the authorities because somebody likes to hurt uh, tuxedo cats. And I have all the documentation. So I said, can you please put the CCTV up, cameras up? Can you? I said, because there's already too many. And it's really grabe po if you see the videos. Um, we even, in that same, in a 500 radius, 500 meter radius, we even rescued a dog na sinindihan. The dog survived. So sabi ko, the next step na po is tao na. Nagpa-practice siya sa mga, ta sa mga hayop. Ang next step is... Yeah, the cruelty. Yeah. And this is all within the, the period of COVID. So isolation, this and that. But when people are seeing that there are acts of uh, violence uh, towards humans, it's almost as if you're giving them the right to do it to animals. And then they grow, and they, they up their game to humans. And the minute it is a uh, leader, you condone it, and you give it a, a seal of approval. Yan nga mali po for exactly. me. And, and, whether, and whether it's a human life that has perished, or putting someone in jail without basis, mali po yun. Mali is mali, hindi po. Injustice applies as well to human beings and animals. You know, being, you know, there's a lot of injustice also being committed against animals. Yes. Because oh. injustice flows from the lack of appreciation of their rights. Yes. It's like when you, you lack appreciation for human rights, then you would also not appreciate uh, animal rights. So the result, injustice. So how do we correct injustices? Yes. So how? And it's, 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 it's really, um, you know, the mindset, it's, it's the transformation of the psyche, of uh, society, of people, that more education, more awareness raising. And, and, and uh, that's why this, this kind of the work that you do, caring really and, and rescuing abandoned, injured, sick, and taking care of sick, and then the advocacy. Advocacy, like this podcast, is very much part of, of trying to mold and transform the psychology of people in the community, yes. especially. And it starts also with community leaders, let's say barangay leaders, yes, mga tanod, mga, mga kapitan, and, and then schools. Animal welfare education should be part of our curriculum. Yes. Of, of, the, of the school We're, we're starting, and there are yes. other groups that are also starting. Mm -hmm. But also what's very important for me is, I'm trying to understand, because I come from a different world. And now, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm becoming friends with people I would never have been friends with, the street sweepers of MMDA who call me, Mom, tulungan niyo po kami, ganito, going to payatas, going, you know, all these things. And I'm starting to see, oh my goodness, I didn't understand before because I live in a, a different world and I need to traverse into mm -hmm. the other world to understand it. And I think, Part of it is people have become manhid, callous, because their life is difficult. So they have to have these parang blinders because they, it is a luxury to care. That's another thing. You know, economic empowerment, that's why economic empowerment of people is important. Because, you know, it, not many people, in fact, in, 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 Philippine, in, in the Philippines, just a few segments really would appreciate human rights and, re and, and actualize human rights in their lives. Most do not really appreciate human rights because more, more, most people have got issues to attend to. Yes, I have got issues. Got, a, got, got yes. issues yes. to Sikura. attend to. Yes. How, how to uh, put food on the table, table yes. how to send their their children to school, and how to attend to their health needs, personal health needs. They don't want, they won't, not only do they, don't they have the time, but the very resources 
to really take care of animals. They think it's a financial burden. But I think it's not really, it's not really a correct proposition that you, you, you've got to have really money to be able to take care of animals. So it's a matter of attitude and mentality. Uh, you know, one time we were on our way. I was driving and I had uh, a catcher with me, one of our people. Uh, mm -hmm. And we were going to Payatas. Mm -hmm. And it's Pababa. This, there's a road that's Pababa. And it was raining and there's water on the gutter. And these kids without clothes swimming in the gutter. Sabi ko, paano na nga? Anong gagawin natin dito? How can we teach them to love the animals? It's a party. Yung mga anak hindi inaalagan. Diba? So parang, I was thinking, we have to do something on a, on a different level. So uh, we started something called BIS Acts of Random Kindness, BARK. Uh -huh. And what we started with is mga ngalakals who have animals. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. And we would get the animals, treat them, kapon them, return them. And then some people will say, oh, wait, why? Why, why are you returning them? They cannot take care. I said, you know, if you see how the dog behaves when he goes back to his human, so happy, he doesn't make distinction whether they live in a kareton or right. they... And right. that bond, you cannot break that. You cannot break that. That is, a, for me, a travesty. Yeah. You know, so you do that and you see, Oh my goodness, the language of the animal is love. And it allows the human, because, you know, humans, when they get hurt by humans, they get already, ano, di ba? Mm -hmm. And the animal can be the bridge to teach them how to trust and love again. So we had that, and we started that, and that's why we give free kapon in other places, free bakuna. Um, a lot of it comes from this need to show love. I, 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 the propensity. It's all about love. It's all about love. It's a language uh, that is that no needs no no no. I know it's it's understood. Um, and it will teach it's people. Understood. That it's felt. It's felt. You no need to talk. You can just show. Once they feel that, then everything exactly. else. Can, uh, comes into place. Comes into place. And mm -hmm. so what we're also trying to do is, for example, um, we had this, uh, this th that book that I gave you is from a small publishing house called Historia. Okay. And um, they are very well-known international uh, visual artists, mm -hmm. Marina Cruz and Rodel Tapaya. Their advocacy is human adoption. So we had a podcast also because I said, they were explaining to me about the after a certain age, humans cannot be adopted. They're not adoptable. They get less and less adoptable as they grow older. Is that the same as animals? Yes. Very same, especially dogs. Mm -hmm. Cats mm -hmm. kasi parang pag mataba sila, matanda na, pero cute eh, mataba eh. Mm -hmm. So they can still take that. But the older dogs... It, it becomes more and more difficult. It's very easy to adopt out juniors and puppies. So we had a podcast. And in the podcast, I said, well, what, why don't we, uh, those, those adoptable 16 to 17, 18-year-olds who are no longer adoptable mm. humans, mm. why don't we do a test, the thing? Get, get uh, uh, courses for them, and then maybe they want to join shelters. They can have uh, alternative um, uh, yes. employ yes, employment, yes. Uh, groomers, etc. So we even went uh, through Mitch. We were able to go to Senator Joel Villanueva's yeah. um, uh, chief of staff, Cesar Jojo, to say, okay, let's let's work something together. But then again, this is an alliance of animal and human put together. See, that's what I always tell people. Human development was very much helped by dogs. Why? Yes. They kept the farms. Yes. They hunted. They kept their pastoral. That's why there are these groups, pastoral group, security group, hunting group, companion group. Mm -hmm. 
Without mm. them, we would not have progressed as much. Even yung sinasabi ko, yung That's mga true. poodles. Mm. Why do you think the poodle, the hairstyle is ganon? Because it's French, hindi ah. It's because they're water dogs. So when they jump into the water to fix the nets, mm -hmm. this part is shaved mm -hmm. so they can move freely. But the pom-poms here, the pom -pom dito, is to protect vital organs in cold water. Here to protect the joints and mm -hmm. the rest of the mm -hmm. body free so that they could move freely so in the water. Is. Yes. <laughs> and so they are, I didn't know that. they are cultural mm -hmm. heritages because they are proof as to the close connection between a dog and a man, without which we would have progressed less. Correct. There's that alliance. There's that alliance, and I yes. call it an imprint. Mm. An imprint in our DNA. Yes, yes, you can really put it that way. <laughs> but I never really thought of that. Yeah, and I, I have to think about this, this because when I talk to LGUs and mayors to mm. try to convince them, I have to give data. I have to give something scientific. Because if it's rhetorical, yes, they won't, they won't really. They think it's emotional and correct. they discount that right yes. away. Yes. And, it, and it's good that also focusing on the LGUs. And it should start also with the LGUs. Yes, for. Well, under the local government code. Yes. They have, there's a certain level of autonomy, and animal welfare could be very much part yes. of, of their uh, local uh, governance. Yes. And therefore, it should start also with the LGUs. Yes. They might be, you know, get, get, they can be convinced to yes. do some. Uh, and there are some that are very responsive, huh? uh -huh. uh, I have to tell you. In terms of at least the Capon, uh, Tagig mm. is one of them. Mm -hmm. Senator, a uh, senator, Mayor uh, Lani. She, um, we started to be her uh, manpower arm. Mm. So from July last year to December, we mm -hmm. did three thousand five hundred Capons, wow. which they which they funded. Uh, we're, mm -hmm. we're just the manpower. Mm -hmm. That's our contribution. That should be replicated in a lot in, in, in many of our LGUs, especially in, in urban. Urban centers. Yes. yes. So we help Las Piñas in a mm. smaller scale. Mm -hmm. We work with um, Mandaluyong. We, we, we have certain LGUs that need to be convinced. So sometimes we give it initially for free for them to see, oh, your constituents pala like it. So, you know, and, and, and then. Very good. Yes, and so that's the way we, um, we try to work together. And, and for us, it's like, sige, it's yours. We're just the partner. It's yours. So that, mm -hmm. you know, we also understand the need to be recognized. Yes, yes. So, uh, how do you convince man? How do you convince, how do you move them? Mm -hmm. How do you make them, you, how do you steer them? Like you said, the mindset. How do we change it? And I really feel that uh, each of us, have to be part of it because you see that's the thing about Filipinos na they want you always to help them right so I said okay tama na yung awa maglagay tayo ng G sa harap ng awa gawa anong pwede nyong gawin o sabi nyo wala kayong pera okay pero you can tell your neighbor o oh, sige I'll help you ako na lang magdadala para ipakapun yung aso mo or pusa mo or sige sige let's form a group a feeding group together and then after I, we always say if you feed you need to kapon para hindi sila dadami. yeah initiatives like that could be so helpful so and and that's your contribution it, it, it is it is diba? yeah yes. so these are the things that we're trying to um influence mm -hmm. trying to help and uh it's hard kasi to say educate eh, kasi some people take offense. Mm. So sabi ko, ito na lang yung sharing namin. Yung sharing. And reaching out to all like-minded people because if like-minded people would really uh, come together and, and think of ways, initiatives, programs and projects in order to, to really reach, uh, expand, expand expand the base of uh, animal lovers of, of especially of, of cats and uh, dogs then that should help. It helps. You know, yeah. uh, I don't know if you're aware, the rabies problem is huge nowadays to the yeah. point that yeah. even, in, in, even in Masbate, livestock na. Mm. Baboy at uh, baka at kalabaw. Meron na din po. 
Yes, kasi nakagat na sila. So, um, it becomes scary because what if the farmer is not aware of the rabies mm-hmm. at, at uh, I, it died na, kainin na lang kaya namin. Kasi there's been a case in ano, Cagayan Valley na dog eating talaga, kinilaw, hindi nila alam, may rabies, patay silang lima. And we're at an all-time high human deaths, 86 deaths, reported deaths uh, for first quarter this year. Mm. And you know, in the provinces po, uh, sometimes they say, ay, napasukan ng demonyo, or uh, they don't understand, di ba? Or nakulam, but it's actually rabies na. So that number is questionable. Our reporting, our census, all of these things have to improve and be given yeah. importance. Because we, I always say, animal welfare is human welfare. It is. It's connected. You cannot. You cannot not understand that. That's true. Um, and talking about also dog eaters, how how do we dissuade people from from? <laughs> we're working that, that has on always it. been. That's always you know. I, and I, I we're hate, work- I hate hearing stories about people eating dogs and and and, and killing them and then uh, cook them. And, First of uh, all, they're not consume healthy. Consume them. First of all, it's not healthy. It's considered hot meat. So scientifically, the meat is really not to be consumed. Correct. And it's it's it, and it's uh, punishable. Yes, it is punishable. It's a penal. It's a penal. Yes, but that yung batas non, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And it's so funny because when you talk to some mayors, they don't even know that. <laughs> so you have to tell them. It's either maybe they're I don't know. Maybe they're pretending not to know, as if. You know, when you don't know, then you're absolved. Pero hindi eh, di ba? You, it, just because you're ignorant of the law, that doesn't mean you're absolved of it, di ba? Yeah. So, ignorance of the law excuses no one. No, exactly. So there was one mayor, and he was uh, parang, no, mamrina, at uh, ano, ano yun, a ritual, ritual. Sabi ko, okay, okay ganito. Uh, mayor, with all due respect. Sige, sige na. Okay na si ritual. Pero pag pumunta po kayo ng ano, restaurant at kumakain kayo ng aso, ah, ritual po ba yun? You get it? Parang, yes, parang me, yes. don't argue with me because I will keep on going around and going back. And ba? May, may pagka-ano ako eh. Tenacious ano ako eh. And, and in a kind and, um, uh, uh, you know, professional, uh, way. <laughs> professional way. But we need, we need to do something. You know, this case, kasi with Justice, who you met earlier, uh, I had to file that case. Why? Eight children were witness to the clubbing. Twelve adults, including the perpetrators. When I went back the second day, so went, got the blotter, da da da, went back the second day. Because the first thing actually that I did was I said, Oh, sino nakagat dito? Oh, come on. Maski na it's a holiday, it's private, sige. Ako na magbabayad. So I paid for everything. Then I said, I paid, I paid the, hospi- the clinic. I said, oh, kompleto na po yung bayad. Bahala na sila if they come or not. Right? So it's paid because I can't be- <laughs> bring them physically. That's four mm-hmm. injections, di ba? So okay. Then the next thing, ay, pinablatter ko, ganon, ganon. So I went back the next day. And the children were lying. Mm-hmm. But I had... Kasi body cam. So I could prove. And they, I said, you know, you're being recorded. Ha? Then the next day, when, when a news channel came, iba na yung story. Mm-hmm. So inside me, it's like, these are six, seven, ten-year-olds lying. One of the ones who clubbed the dog was 13. Well, I can believe that. Because in... in, in, in you know, in, in communities, they, they simply lack the uh, recognition of the value of the life of an animal, of, of, a, of a dog or of a, of a cat. And they see adults, you know. And, and then it normalizes it. Mm-hmm. it mm-hmm. So for me, I'm like, no, I have to do this. So I, I received two threats. I, I set it aside and I, I called I, I called the, ano, the the chief of police and the ano, um, provincial director. Sabi ko, 
ganito po yung nangyayari. Ha? Pero medyo may pagkatapang din ako. So, wala akong pakialam, sabi ko. Pero kailangan natin i-ano to, sabi ko. Kasi kung hindi, future generations. So, that's eight kids, ten, twelve adults, the multiplier effect of that. How many people? So, you mean that whole community? It's okay? Because now they don't want to stand witness. Ha? That's the other thing. No, no. So I just filed it, buti na lang the prosecutor accepted it. Sabi ko, isupina na lang. Kasi there's no other way. Correct. Diba? And because the video was sent to me, the raw video, and we proved the trail. But, ah. Uh, so what's the status now of that case? I'm waiting now. I'm waiting oh. now to, uh, no, they did na preliminary investigation. Okay. Okay. And, and you know, the funny thing is, it, it runs deeper kasi. May silo sila. And may golf club. Anong ibig sabihin yan? Sanay sila. Why? You get it? You get what I'm talking yeah, about, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. So sabi ko, ah, iba na to. Iba na to. So, let's see. I'll, let, I'll know by um, uh, tomorrow what the status of the case is. But, um, I'm sorry to say this with no, 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 uh, nag, ay, ay, hindi ako nagmamarunong. What's happening to our education system? <laughs> we, have a, we have a crisis. I look at the, uh, you know, the uh, ratings, especially on the English, math, uh, and the science. So if, if in those basic, basic studies, there's a lot of uh, things to improve, what more when it comes to? These un intangible. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, rights, uh, like for example, I heard we're number one in chi children pornography. <laughs> yeah. Yung, yung, the, they're uh, not doing anything, they're just feeling... The online sexual yes. exploitation of children, we're number, all sick. We're yes, I, I know that. I used to chair the Anti-Human Trafficking Council when I was at the DOJ. And the numbers are increasing. It's getting worse. As you said, number one na tayo sa mundo. Yes. The online sexual exploitation of children, and, and in most cases, it's the parents. And, yes. Uh, and, you know, within the family, family members who are behind it, especially who are inducing during, him, or during, inducing yeah, the children. Especially now during COVID. So talagang, um, so, <laughs> it, it, it really, uh, parang hit me hard. And I'm very, you know, parang, you see me, I'm, I'm I'm, 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 I cry sometimes, you know, like that, tear, tear. But I'm, I'm quite strong. But inside, I'm very sensitive. Mm -hmm. So I told you about our Bucor pro projects. <laughs> Hi, Sir Katapang. Salamat. We will prove that it works. Pilot project po to. So what is that project? Uh, that project is, um, Bucor made an announcement that the inmates could no mm -hmm. longer have their pets. Okay. And so through Sir Jojo. Hi, Sir Jojo De Leon. <laughs> Thank you. Um, so I called Sir Jojo, who I do a lot. I did a lot of work with in Sulu, particularly. Mm -hmm. And uh, I said, "Oi, introduce me, naman. Get my foot in the door with Sir Katapang." So okay, naman. And uh, we started to do the kapon vaccinate sa Bucor. So we did it in. Uh, medium security so we've done over a hundred cats and dogs so they're uh, reconsidering they're reconsidering and if That's the pilot good. project works mm -hmm. uh they're going to push it rule it out to other facilities because as persons deprived of liberty i i, I used to be a person deprived of liberty there's such uh, these are blessings actually to have pets because you you know that's, that's one way of of, of, of uh, Correct. <laughs> uh, so I sent them the I sent them the studies of Chile, LA, mm. that when the, the inmates they become better behaved, yes. yes, more tranquil when they have a pet. So they they I know we're doing maximum security that has four hundred cats mm. in the mm. next few weeks. Mm -hmm. So we're still planning how to do it. So in the maximum security, there are 400 cats there. Yes. So we're, we're going to do that. Because we also have the highest number of inmates, I am told, 29,000 in Bilibid. Yes. It's, it's a congested, severely congested. Okay. So we'll do that. And then uh, 
makulit kasi ako eh. So, when I went to Palawan, I even went to the penal colonies mm. to check. Kasi mm. sabi ko, eh, this is perfect setting for sanctuaries. Right? So, instead of impounding, maybe dito na lang, is as long as a kapon and Penal farms. Yes. Big tracts of Big, land. Yes. Mm. Diba? Idle lands. Idle lands. So, sabi ko, so I have, a, I have all these ideas kasi magulo nga mag-isip ako. Um, so, we did that and um, in Bucor that day, I myself went because I, I really want to, on one of the days where we said too many dogs, we can't be ferrying dogs backwards and forward. It's too stressful. We'll do it there. Mm. So we went. And um, that day, I met an inmate, right? He was making me chica. So mm. I said, oh, sige, sige. I said, so why are you here? A philosopher. Why? Sabi niya, this one or the last one? You mean now my current stay? Sabi ko, oh, repeat offender ka pala? <laughs> Oo, sabi niya, kidnapping. So sabi ko, huh? Why? Why else? Money. Ganun ang sabi niya. Sabi ko, oh my golly. Sa loob-loob ko talagang, you know, I was like, so how old was, was that? flaunting it. Yeah, he was flaunting it. So sabi ko, no remorse, right? So I said, how old was the child or the person that you kidnapped? Four years old. I said, how could you do that? Sabi niya, well, you have money, sabi niya. But I don't. And that's how, now how I know how to make money. I said, will, will you repeat offense? Sabi niya, no, hindi na pwede, kasi baka hindi na pwede. So I said, I hope so. I hope you, if you ever get out of here, kasi medium security, you rethink what you're, you're doing. That's the afternoon. I, I was driving home when I got the call of justice in San Pedro, Laguna. So, as in you turn straight there. I have also a dog called Justice, named Justice. Justice, yeah. Yeah. It's a dog that was given to me by, an, by a guard ah. in, in, uh, in uh, the PNP Custodial Center. Ah, okay. So, what happened Belgian. that... Ah, beautiful. Big, beautiful. Big Belgian, Malinois. Yeah. So what happened that afternoon, I got home very late. I sat down and it was like in my stomach, what's happening to our country? What's happening to our country? Yeah. <laughs> and, and, and that was we like... Can only, we can only have a sigh, or, you know, and then the, there's a lot, a lot of challenges, of course. A lot of country. challenges across the board. Across the board. And only on the economic side, but everything. Everything. You know, it's yeah. like when you're moving house and you have all these boxes and you're like, wait, what box am I going to open first? Right? You, 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 and, and that's, and I'm just thinking, how? How? And we just have to do our own little bit. How, yes. how, how else? We, we have our own ways to help. You know, advocacy would, 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 would be a lot because that's, that you, could, you, can, you can really... Uh, imbibe in people the right the right attitude and appreciate the values that you are championing so just like me yes that, i'm i'm with my I'm, I'm fighting for certain advocacies and 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 i feel that people need to listen more from from those who uh, know a lot about a particular a well particular in your subject. case it's not only know a lot experienced a lot yeah. That's a different learning. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So yes. you're talking from your vibrations, from all your senses. It's, it's very whole. Yes. It's not just from here. Yes. Yes. Um, my journey had really been complex. And uh, I, I, uh, there's always this sense of fulfillment whenever I do things right whenever I fulfill my mandate well in, in all of those three capacities, CHRs, DOJ, and then in the Senate, and you get to learn a lot about issues, learn a lot about uh, situations of people. But, but the, 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 the challenge is always how to integrate your, what you learn, and as you said, how can you now uh, propose concrete steps in addressing specific areas of concern? 
but we cannot be all knowing and we cannot be attending to all of them. So we just have to choose our own niche and in, in, in our own ways to help out in, in the social transformation. Do you know that's a big word, social yeah. transformation? Social transformation. It's a huge, huge work. You know, um, we, um, because of my work with the Marines and the Navy, we made Kaponin Pag-asa Island. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we rode in the military plane, we landed, we couldn't finish everything because enough lang for our gamit, the weight of the plane, di ba? Yes. So uh, three doctors, ako yung tagahuli, <laughs> and then our kasangkapan, we couldn't finish right away. So um, they said, oh, maybe tomorrow early morning, you can go with the reconnaissance plane okay. going back. Okay, so... We were there, we were catching, and you meet these men who go through very difficult uh, situation, especially in Pag-asa, mm -hmm. and Ayung in Shoals and all of that, right? Because uh, if it's an island where they can still talk to, then it's okay. Mm -hmm. But what if it's like, they, they, it's just them, right? It's eight, a team of eight normally. So I found it very cute because a colonel came up to me and he said, Ma'am, sabi niya, alam mo si YT? I said, sino si YT? <laughs> and they said, no, meron kaming isang aso in one of the islands. Her name is YT. And kasi the PTSD has increased so high that now they are limiting the time to uh, two months. And then they get reshuffled, they, they get moved. And sabi niya, eh, si, isang aso lang po kasi si Whitey. Baka parang natotroma na siya. Sabi ko, bakit? Eh kasi palit ng palit ng tao. So by the time she getting friendly already with the new tropa, they're leaving and, they're, and she has to get used to it. Ano? So sabi niya, can we bring one kapon dog para may kasama si Whitey? So sabi ko, I, I sat down and I was thinking, this, this person has so much compassion that he should be thinking about Whitey. Yeah, and very, very rational, very rational. Oh, uh, and, and, yet these are the, and yet these are the people who give up their life for us and have so little. Wow, wow. Right? And those stories have to be shared yes, all and the time. All the time. And, mm. and, you know, it doesn't, I'm not trying to you know but your life is like that and you speak from a place of knowledge experience and and I really I really we all uh, are behind you thank you so much I, you know these days I, I, I get to be meeting a lot of people because I'm in all sorts of engagements not only speaking engagements but all sorts of events and as I was telling you earlier um, you know, whenever they, they see me in public places, like in malls, in markets, in groceries, and many of them would be in tears. It's like, <laughs> like us. When they're total strangers. So they, they felt my ordeal. And how does that feel for you? It's, you know, it, it defies description, actually. I'm, of course, very, very moved. And I, I would say and I would tell myself them, really, there's no regrets what I've done because you know, there were no regrets, whatever, even if I went through all the hardships. That, that was no hard. regrets because I had faith. I had faith in our people. I had faith, actually, in our system, the justice system. Even it has failed me initially. But then it That's is a long fail. Yes, yes. Seven years. And, and, and so there, I, I realized that many people know exactly what is right and wrong. Know exactly what is, you know, know exactly uh, the sight of injustice. That, and, that and gave you comfort? That gave me comfort. But you didn't know that then. You know that now. Yes, yes. Yes. So those are seven in dark fact, years. In fact, my, one of my greatest fears then when I was still inside was to be forgotten by people. I thought that people forgot about me. I thought 
that people did not appreciate what I did for my cause. My cause was to stand up for the powerless, the voiceless, those mercy, mercilessly killed in that brutal war on drugs without due process at all. And some of them are even innocent of, you know, because these are, you know, many of them yes. were alleged drug offenders. But you cannot just play God and judge them right away and then kill them, especially that there's no death penalty in our justice or legal system now. So uh, I realized that I was not forgotten. And that's why I feel that I had no regrets having done that. And that, and that exactly what, what uh, uh, brought me to my situation, to be in detention, deprived of freedom or liberty for almost seven years. So people have empathy. It's just a matter of, of how to, you know, in, you know inspire the, them. Inspire them, harness that energy. Yes, yes. And for it to manifest across. Yes. Manifest across. Correct. You know, especially now, like, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm uh, Filipina, but I'm educated abroad and very independent person. Um, I have three brothers. I don't have sisters. And it's something like, I, I was telling them, I, you know, all of these things I'm learning about our culture, because I'm, I'm from another side, right? So it's like, what is this? Sabay mo, sabay tayo kumain. So, you know, or so, it, you, you come with me because I have to do these difficult things. Filipinos are, are like that. Yes. And I, you know, like this thing, like we have 120 employees, something like that. And, um, and it's not volunteers. So uh, I was telling Tina, what is this abulo you think? I didn't understand it. I didn't understand it. She goes, no, you, you um, give money when somebody dies. I said, gosh, this is the first time I'm ever hearing of this abulo you think. There's, so there's a lot already in our culture of sharing, of helping. So now we have to do that for justice. Malasakit is embedded. In yes. the Filipino. Yes. And the socket, aside from the. So, how do we give them the strength? Utang na loob. How do we give them the strength to be able to call out an injustice, like what happened to you? Mm. To call it out, right? Yes. And hindi matakot. Yes. That this is what I want to. Because I'm experiencing it myself with the ca case that I, I'm filing, diba? So, which I filed actually. So, it's. it's how do we do that? How do we, you know, I'm sure the answer will come when it's meant to come. Yes. You know, it's uh, maybe we're not ready for that at the moment. We cannot indulge in no. concrete uh, ideas right yes. now because it's also a learning process. It's a journey for everyone, whether you're the champions or whether you're the, uh, the ones to be uh, educated and to be inspired. It's, it's, it's going through a particular journey. And, you feel and, that's and, happening and now? Learning from mistakes, learning from errors, and then getting the best practices also from other, from other countries and from other organizations. Do you feel that we're on that road or not I'm quite? I'm not sure. You're not sure? I'm not sure because we have a lot of other concerns. In the country. Diba? A lot of patong, political patong. issues. Yes. You know, and then the West Philippine Sea, the China issue, the charter change, the ICC, yeah. and all that. Oh, you know. And then the, the uh, breakup <laughs> in the alliance of, of, of the two most powerful families. You know, so these are where the attention is. And of course, the basic. Concerns of inflation, low oh wages. Oh my gosh, low wages. It, it, prices are so expensive. Yes. yes. Even so, us with our pharmaceutical things, it's gone up 18, 20%. Uh, we had already commitments. So it's not really a priority. What we've been pushing for is not really a priority. But again, the, one of the, 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 the basic challenge is how to let them understand that this should also be a uh, priority because it has other effects. On, on the activities of men, on the interactions of men, on the human relationships. 
which, which ought to be basic. Yeah. So I have no concrete answers now. Yes. But and, it's just and that we have our own ways to, to do it. Yes, I always say, my talent is to catch and to take care of animals. <laughs> Hanggang dun na lang. So yun na lang yung contribution ko. Oh, it's a huge contribution. <laughs> you know, so, um, you know, and, and in fact, it was so funny because mm -hmm. after we were in Pag-asa and then, so naawa si Navy na parang, oh, we'll take you on a joyride with the, with the, no, the, the rubber boat. Aba, aba. These Chinese were making us these coal lights to get off the water. So, mawalang hiya to. Talaga. Anyway, so, then I understood. Because really, on the reconnaissance plane, on the way home, they had to make their rounds, and we saw how many ships were just at And look our... what's happening now. The, what, the, you know, the, there's again the water cannon incident. Yes. Yesterday. So, they keep on bullying and, and, uh, and intimidating asked them, us. Yeah, and I asked them, wait. Hindi pa po, is that, isn't that an act of war? Hindi, water cannon, hindi pa nasa. I said, oh my God, ano ba yan? Um, yeah, so I wanted to thank you for oh, making your thank time. Thank you. <laughs> you know, I, 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 I so appreciate the, 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 the tour that you gave me. And, and as I said, it, it, it breaks my heart to see these animals. But uh, I also laud those who are, you know, helping you out. Yes. And those who are always willing to adopt. Yes. This. And we have a big sanctuary, you know, in uh -huh. Alfonso Cavite mm -hmm. and another one in Baguio. Um, Senator, do you have a message? Please. Well, alam niyo po, marami tayong mga suliranin sa buhay natin araw-araw. May kanya-kanya tayong mga problema. May mga challenge tayo. May mga hamon tayo. Pero nasa paligid ho natin, yung mga creatures din ng mga uh, likha rin ng ating Panginoon. Ito yung mga aso, ito yung mga pusa, at iba pang mga, mga uh, hayop sa paligid natin. Huwag na huwag natin silang kalilimutan. Hindi, kagaya nung ang sinabi ho natin kanina, na hindi ho kailangan maging mayaman kayo, may pera kayo, may resources kayo para ipakita ng ang pagmamahal, pag-aaruga ng mga uh, hayop, lalo na yung mga pusa at mga aso. Find it in your heart to do it. Find it in your heart to love animals, to love pets, to love uh, uh, dogs and, and cats. Makakatulong po sila sa buhay natin. Yung, yung mental health natin, makakatulong sila. Because matuturuan tayo lalo na maging mabait, maging mapag-unawa, maging compassionate. So, Yes, sa dami ng problema ng buhay, ay kailangan yung buhay natin ay may katuturan. Isa sa mga paraan para maging karapat dapat o may katuturan ng ating buhay ay matuto tayong mag-aruga, magmahal sa mga aso, sa mga pusa. Malaking bagay po yan. I'm telling you, I'm speaking from experience. Hindi ko sinasabing experience nyo muna yung makulong. Pero, uh, <laughs> yung mga ganyan ho na mga pagsusubok, dyan ho lalo makikita, malalaman, mararamdaman kung gaano rin ka-espesyal ang mga pusa, mga aso, at ipang mga hayop. Maraming maraming salamat po. Sana po marami kayong natutunan, lalo na kay Ma'am Rina. Ako marami rin akong natutunan kay uh, Ma'am Rina oh, Rina, ngayon. no ma'am. <laughs> Salamat po. Okay. Salamat po mga kabiyaya. Uh, ito po, um, Archie, tinan nyo po. Uh, we're giving her your book. And then this is another book. Thank you so I much. You would really appreciate. This is from our friend, Ian oh. Alfonso. Ian Alfonso works in the National Historical Commission. Mm. He compiled the history of dogs in wow. the Philippines. I have a picture, I, I be. I did not know there's such a book. I, I, it's I, just I, newly. I, I don't want Take a to photo. Uh, learn more about the history okay. of uh, dogs in our country. And so Ian uh, gathered that all the way from three three thousand years ago. Ooh. It's brilliant. It's a brilliant, brilliant book. And we're working together now because I'm, uh, we're going to get funding for a, 
to have a statue of a dog in uh, Luneta Park in memory of the dog that witnessed the, uh, the um, uh, what do you call that, the death of Rizal. Mm -hmm. Yes. There was such a dog. There was such a dog. And, and he also had a dog called Vergüenza. Yes. I've Shame. Heard, I've, I've, I've heard of that. Yes, yes. So um, these are our offerings. Po, to you. And you'll see us there, no, na, uh, dogs were revered many, many thousands of years ago because they were even buried with children and flowers and gold. So what happened since then? Yun ang tanong. Why did it? Uh, Yun know? po ang tanong. What happened? Not, now they are considered pests. So everything. Thank you so much for this. I, I, I um, please. It is I'm our raring to uh, read. <laughs> it is. It especially is, this the the, oh, oh, hist the history. Oh, oh, it is our pleasure, our honor, and talaga po. Uh, nandito po kami para sa inyo. Isang tawag Tutulong lang po. Tutulong din ako. Paminsan-minsan, mag-aano po ako. Tutulong ako sa advokasya niyo. Salamat po. And Isang okay. tawag lang po. Okay. Maski text lang. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> Maraming salamat. Sa inyo, I, I uh, you know, kudos to all of you for your work. Very admirable. I'm sorry. I'm late. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> so, <laughs> that's cute. And then we that's gave cute. you some uh, Cat mugs oh. and, uh, and our cat t-shirt po. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. But I have two more kittens na inabandon ng isang neighbor ko. Sige po, so, we'll offer so kapon you... for them anytime po if you want kapon. Yeah, so those two new kittens wala pa. I think oh, they're, they're still bigger. too young. But all the rest kapon na. Oh, oh. Uh, and then kompleto na rin sila sa shot. Hello, mga kabiyaya. We are here to discuss anything under veterinary services, rescues, adoptions, TNVR, animal welfare, responsible pet ownerships. Anything and everything as well in between. Kung nais po ninyong magiging isang biyaya sa aming mga alagang asot pusa, please comment below or message our Facebook page. We'd love to hear from you. Maraming maraming salamat.